welcome to Practical Talk. Hey, I'm Heather, a first generation entrepreneur, social media marketing expert, former television and radio producer, and founder of Holloway Media Services. My intention with this podcast is to teach women entrepreneurs how to increase their impact and income with practical marketing advice. You know, the real stuff you can actually use to grow your business. So stick around and succeed with my easy to implement tips. And it all starts right now. If you're enjoying this topic at any moment, please share the episode with your network, post it on social and tag us. And if you haven't yet, go subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. Thank you. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Practical Talk. I'm Heather, and this is episode 22. This is blowing my mind right now. I've wanted a podcast for the longest time and to be at episode 22, although that's an odd number, really not specific to anything. I'm just grateful. I'm grateful I went for it and I'm grateful I'm doing it and I'm grateful that you're listening. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be teaching you three direct marketing tactics that will grow your business. Raise your hand if you rely on trying to engage with members in Facebook groups Maybe you're out there trying to post some reels. Maybe you're doing an occasional Facebook live to get new clients. Is that you? I mean, it's totally okay if it is, but I'm going to help you out a little bit. Sure, those methods can be successful, but you know, I would argue the definition of success here. There are more effective ways to generate leads despite what any online influencer or social media marketing guru is telling you. In this episode, I'm going to discuss three direct response social media marketing tactics that you should be using to gain more clients. But first, a word about metrics. Can we get real about the real metrics that matter? One of the best strategic moves that you can make with your marketing is to stay grounded in profit. The metrics most business owners want to see are likes, views, subscribers, followers, fans, and impressions. And yes, those numbers feel really good to our little ego when they go up. It's just you can't deposit likes in the bank. So you want to track how the attention you're getting from social converts into one of two things. One, a lead, and two, a sale. Truly, those are the only two real metrics that you need to be concerned with. Everything else is kind of sort of fluff. So with a profit mindset in place, let's talk about direct response marketing and a plan. The way I see it, there is a bunch of reasons to consider direct marketing. Direct marketing has lasted the test of time. Wikipedia says direct marketing using catalogs was practiced as early as 15th century Europe, mate. It's been around for a minute, too. As we know, marketing can be rather expensive. But direct marketing generally has a low cost and a high ROI, partly because the media moves right from the business directly to the consumer. Which brings me to my next point. When you choose direct marketing, you allow your customers to take an action instantly, making this form of digital marketing super interactive. Four, direct marketing campaign effectiveness is easy to measure. Remember, sale or lead. It gives very specific numbers with clear cause and effect relationships. And you can get an added bonus of the numbers coming in fast so you can adjust your marketing quickly, which in marketing, you want to fail fast. And five, direct response marketing will set you apart. One of the questions we get asked at Holloway Media Services is, how will you make me stand out? Look, that's a valid question. I get it. With social media marketing, it can feel like you're a whisper in the noise. After all, the market is only getting more crowded, but direct marketing can help show how you do things differently from your competitors. So here we are, kids. Here are your three direct marketing tactics that will grow your business. First, create content that resonates. I know this is not the first time that I've said it, and it won't be the last. You want to do a bit of research to create content that resonates with your potential clients. Put yourself in their shoes. Find the conversations that they find important. You can use a free tool like Answer the Public to literally see what your target market is searching for. When you create content from this point of view, you will speak directly to your clients and instantly become magnetic. 
Then on the majority of your posts, place a carefully crafted CTA that leads back to an offer of, remember, either a sale or lead capture. Become a celebrity. Another way to market to your customers directly is by becoming a celebrity in your area or industry. Take every opportunity you can to write articles and publish books, give lectures, become involved in your community, and keep a blog of your work. When you give lectures and share your knowledge, take photos, record videos, and push them out to your social media channels. Show up and be everywhere you can that makes sense Then document your work across all of your platforms. Invite your online network to your in-person live events. Listen, we do this all the time. I try to speak at least twice a month because I instantly increase my list. I get referrals. I build trust. I get people excited. They want to be around me. It strokes my ego. I mean, the list, the benefits go on and on and on and on. So I get all of this by doing live events. It's a core piece of marketing that we do. Plus, I love it. So it doesn't hurt. And by the way, if you need somebody to talk about social media marketing at your next event, live, in person, on a webinar, doesn't matter, text me 717-288-9969. I'm happy to present. I love doing it. And the third tactic that I want you to do for direct response is go live constantly. If you're a one-woman show and press for time and can't do in-person events, Facebook Live is your next best friend. It's efficient. You don't have to leave your office. You can sit there in your PJs if you want to. You won't be limited by the number of people that can attend. You don't have to buy coffee and donuts. And best of all, you can add a link directly to your offer in the post caption. And you can test offers with Facebook Lives to see what works best. You just have to commit to going live consistently to get results. So to set yourself up for success, Plan your live events for a time when you can commit entirely and create a fantastic experience for your viewers. Then rinse and repeat each week. So here are the takeaways. What have we learned? We've learned that we need to stay profit focused with our marketing, that we want our social media marketing to convert either to a sale or a lead because most other metrics are fluff. We learned that direct response marketing has big ROI potential with little to no cost to implement. And there are three easy ways to sell more and create more opportunities for you and your business by creating content that relates to your target audience, becoming a celebrity and known for something, and finally, use Facebook Lives and stay consistent. You'll find that these cost-effective ways of promoting your business require consistent strategies and regular updates. By doing so, you'll successfully maintain customer interest. And if you feel a little lost in the world of direct marketing, reach out because we would love to support you. Next week, I'm going to teach why appearance matters on social and how to use image to your advantage. That's it for now. If you need anything, holler at us, 717-288-9969. Happy posting. I'm Heather Holloway, and you've been listening to Practical Talk. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me and my team. Hey, remember, check the show notes for resources and links to other episodes. And don't forget, new episodes are released every Wednesday. 